USC twice this year, handing Southern Cal its lone home loss, so plenty for the Trojans to play for tonight. There's so much at stake for the three-time national champs. On to set two, and Texas was able to keep the seventh man out of it, if you will. The, the crowd was held in check as Texas led throughout. They are ready to bust at the seams, 8,000 strong here at the Devaney Center. And what a remarkable story this has become from Terry Pettit to John Cook and this fan base that has been built over the years. And just a wonderful place to play a volleyball match. Even Texas coming in, we're excited to be a part of this environment. No touch from Texas, Point Longhorns. And there's the trouble with the Nebraska offense. If they cannot get number five, Amber Ralston, who plays opposite for them, going, then there's not much of a threat behind the setter. Texas can then focus even more on the other sideline where Kelsey Robinson attacks and where sister Katie Rolfson attacks. Well, Texas is helping them out right now. A couple of service errors for a Longhorn team that has not lost this year when they've won the first set. They've only lost twice all season. They come in 26 and two. And that included an unbeaten run through the Big 12 and route to the regular season championship in the top seed in the tournament. For Nebraska, what uh, John Cook called probably the toughest he's ever seen the Big Ten Conference. They got eight teams into the tournament. They got seven of them into the Sweet 16. And Nebraska is trying to become the third Big Ten team to get into the national semis. <laughs> Top serve, point, Huskers. The first ace comes from J-Wo, Justine wong -Arantes, the freshman from Cypress, California, was a setter in high school, not recruited as a libero, and a miscue there for Texas. Oh, but they give it back easy to Texas. That belt, misfires. All of a sudden, the level of play has dropped significantly. Yes. Lots of confusion on the Texas side. We saw some of that last night in the fourth set when Texas was ready to wrap it up, and they let, let American right back into the match. If there has been a knock on Texas this year, it's the occasional loss of focus as Eckerman tries to grab it right back. Exactly. I feel like if anybody on this Texas team is going to be able to refocus them, it'll be Haley Eckerman, who's hitting a lot of cross court now, seven kills, hitting almost 400. I think Nebraska needs to move its block in and take more of that short cross court away from it. Robinson. Point Nebraska. That's a number of makeable plays now for Cat Brooks. She got aced, almost let a ball drop, and then missed that defensive play. Number of makeable plays the DS can turn it around on. Service error, point Texas. And it is Cat Bell back to serve. The junior out of Mesquite, Texas. Instrumental in their regular season win over Nebraska. She had a season high 16 kills in the region semi last night. And she's got a pretty good serve. Couldn't reach that one. Point Nebraska. Yep, she got Nebraska in trouble with her serve, but then she wasn't able to finish out the other part of her responsibility, and that is to play defense and dig the, the ball that you can come up with, the makeable play. Webster, able to get that one down, Point Texas. Three kills now for Bailey. Allison, 
Sends it towards Robinson. They'll go to Haggerty. And the middle blocker slides and gets a touch. Point Nebraska. In the for Nebraska, on to serve. Haggerty out. and looking for Webster. Got it. Point Texas. Boy, that ball is so high. It often goes right out of the picture. Watch there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And the trouble is, although it's not that much trouble, it gives opponents lots of time to set up defense. But when you're Bailey Webster and you jump and you can touch over 11 feet, well, you can neutralize some of that. Gives her a lot of time to try and find an open space. Palmer guarding the line well. Eckerman a long way off the net. Punched up by Robinson. Eckerman wants another shot at it and she'll get it. Nebraska's there defensively. Rolfson, couple of steps to get her timing right for the rookie and a nice swing. Had to slow herself down a little bit. Yeah, it looked like they had a little confusion as to what height, what speed set she wanted to run. She was ready for something faster from Cole Miller. The cage gets to it. For Texas. And that's where Texas was scoring so effectively just yesterday in the semifinals of the regionals against American University. That one-footed layup, layup approach. That slide behind the setter. Bell at 6-2, Eckerman 6-3, Abagu 6-1 up front now for Texas. There's the block. Watson that time able to use the block. And Abago unable to redirect it in. Well, Babagu wasn't able to get her hands across the net. You don't want to reach high as much as you want to reach across and put your hands in the opponent's airspace. Nine kills now for Katie Rolfson. Eckerman swooping in for the kill. Haley Eckerman, what a turnaround from the regular season matchup. Eight kills without an error tonight. As opposed to those 10 errors she's had in those in the five sets when Texas hosted that early season match. Katie Robson can't turn eight. Back to Eckerman. Off speed. Ricochets around and over. Pat Bell gets it popped up. Rolfson kept alive by Texas. This is Eckerman. Bumped out to Robinson. She wants to join the party and goes. First of all, a great up by Paul Miller, and then Nebraska having a lot more success attacking the right hand, the outside hand of the block for Texas. Nice up by Wong Arantes. Back to Robinson. There's the attack again from Nebraska toward the Texas line. Ackerman able to beat the block. Another kill for Haley, that's nine. Texas took the opening set, 25 to 19. It's been Nebraska in front here in the second. Nebraska's going to have to be careful also because Eckerman has a lot of heat, a lot of mustard on this serve. They have to aim their pa passing platform off the net, which they do there. Robinson with another kill. And now Kelsey starting to warm. She's got nine kills. Has really brought that competitive fire to Nebraska this year. Plays with tremendous intensity. And with a young team card, she was able to step in herself a transfer, but still lead right away. 
What's been so critical to this young Nebraska team's success? Yeah, it's one thing to come in and play well, but to inspire your teammates to become a captain in your only year with the program after being SEC player of the year, then Big Ten player of the year. And she has made a big difference with this young Nebraska group. And the stuff by McCage at the net. So she changed. Remember, Nebraska was having more success hitting the edges of the block. That time she hit right into the better block of that matchup. Molly McCage's middle blocker role for Texas. Back to Robinson. Bumped by Bell. Now looking for Webster. And that one will shake off into the crowd. Point Texas. They tie it up. And Texas is just attacking at a level that Nebraska doesn't get to defend all that much. And when you don't get to see something in your gym a lot, you don't defend it as well. Allison. Joust at the net. Cole Miller looking for Haggerty, and McCage is there. Point Texas. Yeah, I don't like this choice by Haggerty. She needs to go behind the setter. You can see in a minute, she's going to stay in front. Texas is blocked. Bailey Webster comes in to help, and they get a great two-person block. And now, complete confusion on the Husker side, thanks to that stuff block the play before. First lead of the match here, the last couple of points now for or the set, excuse me, for Texas, trying to get up 2-0. Arena in Seattle is the destination. It's win or go home tonight. Advancing to the national semifinals in our Elite Eight showdown here at the Devaney Center, Texas, with the one nothing lead and a 5-0 run to get them on top here in the second set. Our coverage will begin at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN2. And that first match will be Wisconsin against the winner of this meeting here, Texas or Nebraska. The second semifinal at 9.30 Eastern will be Penn State against either Washington or USC. That matchup is coming up next. And believe it or not, the first NCAA tournament meeting between those Pac-12 rivals, Southern Cal and Washington. Interesting with Texas on this 5-0 run, which Nebraska stops. Normally, in television matches, there's an automatic break if nobody's called a timeout at the 15th point. Coach John Cook, I think, was trying to wait for that yeah. and save his timeouts for this young group later in the set when he wants to calm them down when it gets to the tight the nervous part of that set, but he had to burn one at 14 to slow it down. An attack error for Texas Point, Nebraska. By the way, for more information on the national semis and the finals, visit our friends at NCAA.com. That's your home for all 89 NCAA championships. Wow, is that ball high? Nebraska able to disrupt it. And now another chance, high ball. Webster goes up for it and uses the fingertips, point Longhorns. The other challenge with that high ball offense is if you don't block it a lot in your gym, you tend to jump too early and be on the way down. And that's exactly what happened on that play to the end blocker, Mary Polmore, the setter for Nebraska. She was cut on her way down as the ball hit her in the hands. point for Nebraska. Well, the other interesting thing, too, and Jared Elliott was telling us they practiced a couple of times this week in the Irwin Center because this is such a unique environment. Irwin Center is their bigger arena, their basketball arena. Being able to see that high ball, being able to get your timing down and get used to the space around you, which can be a distinct advantage for Nebraska. Yeah, and he has said that they have had at times had trouble in his program playing in more of the open spaces, the yeah. bigger venues.
Point for Nebraska after losing the lead. The Huskers grab it back. That's trouble on the tough serve. Ends up being an overpass. Webster able to steal one there for Texas. Boy, Cecilia Hall was so concerned about trying to attack after she made that pass that she forgot to just keep the ball on her side of the net, gave up a freebie. Nebraska did exactly what it wanted, got Texas in lots of trouble with their serve. Amy Neal serving. Eckerman had to tip as the set was tight. Back row, Robinson drops it over the top. You can see a lot of space in the middle of the Texas side of the court. The wing blockers playing very deep there. If I were them and three blockers were up at the net, I'd be looking to play a little shallower. There's a lot of vacant space. Robinson, her 11th kill. Eckerman calls for it. McCage. Now in transition, Nebraska. Amber Rolfson. Robinson looking to set up Rolfson, uses the block. On the overpass, the block solo by McCage. And now Eckerman trying to win that battle and play. Amber Rolfson returns it. And I don't know if Rolfson even touched that. That might have been into the net tape. Eckerman just trying to do too much on that play. The top seed Texas taking the opening set tonight, but the eight seed Nebraska with the lead here in the second. Big day with all four regional finals coming your way on ESPNU. Two of them already complete. The two seed Penn State, the 12th seed Wisconsin have advanced to the semis. The winner of this match here will take on the Badgers who are making just their second appearance. They made it to the finals and lost to Nebraska back in 2000. John Cook, of course, used to coach at Wisconsin, then came here to Nebraska. So they were very was, familiar with each other. And that other. was his first season yep. here, led his team against Wisconsin to a national title. And we're not done yet. Stick around for USC and Washington. Samantha Bricio, Krista Van Zandt, just to name a couple. The superstars that are on deck out in Los Angeles in our fourth and final the regional of the day for you. Yeah, Pac-12 foes. It's a really tough team. Uh, tough to beat a good team three times. Washington's done it twice, but they'll need to do it a third time on USC's home floor at Galen Center. If they do it, then they will get to go home and play for the championship. Palmer able to track it down. Three ball Huskers, Paul Miller looking for Katie Rolfson right down the net and out point Texas. It has been all Kelsey Robinson and Katie Rolfson offensively so far. They have not had a lot of balance on that side, Coach. No, they haven't. And that allows Texas to focus even more on other hitters. No one else has more than one kill in the match. And this is a player that's got to get rolling right here, and it's Amber Rolfson with the swing, Point Nebraska. Again, they've had the best success going at the edges of the block, and there was a little bit of daylight. Campbell didn't get her right hand across the net. Rather than hitting it in the forearms, hitting it off fingers. Much better strategy for Nebraska. Eckerman. Now Robinson. Off the block and the headshot, Cat Bell tapping her forehead, saying, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that's when you know you're getting up a little higher, when you get a stuff block with your forehead, with your nose. 
Eighth block for Texas. That forehead, by the way, was up over the net at seven feet four inches. So a little elevation there from Cat. Back set for Ralston, and there's Bell up there alongside Eckerman. Ninth block for Texas. And Bell with a nice move. She just read that, got her hands way across the net. Frustration, of course, from Ralston, who cannot get it going. Watch how high Bell is chin above that seven foot four inch net. Texas five points away from a 2 0 lead. Coming up at intermission, more on the resignation of Texas football coach Mac Brown. We'll have highlights for you from the other regionals. And Jameis Winston, no surprise there, the Florida State redshirt freshman quarterback wins the Heisman. And uh, we had a chance to talk with Jared Elliott, a good friend of Mac Brown's earlier tonight. I wasn't aware that, that he was going to resign today. And I told him, I said, hey, Mac, you're a big part of this and what you built for us. And I just want to thank you. And if you're watching, know that you're part of it. So we'll talk about it a little bit and make sure that uh, they understand that we're going to go out and fight not only for the University of Texas, but for Mac Brown tonight. And it's such a luxury and so nice to see it as a female athlete. When your football coach on your campus is a fan of all the sports, and when you can take a volleyball recruit into your head football coach's office for a chit chat, that is a huge thing for a volleyball program and something that Jared Elliott has always appreciated. Every time he's ever talked about it, and he has made himself available. He helps all of those sports. It makes a huge difference in recruiting, even in somebody like Bailey Webster and her decision to come play for Texas, a very highly recruited volleyball player. So Texas playing for the university, playing for their head coach who will stay on to coach the bowl game for Texas. And right now the more pressing concern here in Lincoln is to finish out this second set. Long around this, the pass to Paul Miller. Robinson able to find the deck. Rice ties it up. A dozen now for Kelsey. Yeah, she had one of her season highs, almost season high, 26 kills against Nebraska in against Texas earlier this season in five sets. She already has 12, about half that. Not even done with two yet. 12 kills, just the one error for Eckerman. Toss in nine digs and a couple of blocks. See if she can add an ace to the resume. Primer looking for Robinson. Good talk from Texas. They'll set up Bailey Webster. She terminates. Number eight for Webster. And it starts with the good serve of Eckerman. Getting Nebraska's offense in deep trouble by making them pass well beyond the 15-foot line. Cole Mill, the setter for Nebraska, scrambling just to get the ball close to the net. That's a better pass now. Nebraska can run its offense. Well, Texas block continues to play a major role, so Robinson will just use it for the point. Back within one. Nine to two, the blocking discrepancy thus far in favor of Texas. Bell, ooh, with the soft touch from Cat. Bumped more, over. More confusion on the Nebraska offense. Missed chance for Nebraska. Webster unable to put it down. Robinson right back at him. Back outside to Bailey. Ramorantes defends, and now Robinson with another chance. Back row, Eckerman off the tape. 
Dug up by Amber Rolfson. Back row from her sister, Katie. Back and forth we go. Kelsey Robinson. Oh, nice. Kept alive. Nice up by Bell. Can Nebraska take advantage? And they can. They were quiet down just briefly for the serve. And now back on their feet for the timeout. 23-22 Texas with the advantage. 14 kills now for Robinson to lead all scorers tonight. And here's that last point and the fire from Robinson. Yeah, watch her after she puts the ball away. She's been doing this all season, looking at her teammates eye to eye and imploring them to follow her to the kind of season that they've had. And that can be reassuring for those multitude of underclassmen that they have freshmen sophomores so many new players on this Nebraska team they have to figure out a way to keep it close which they have down the stretch got to be in, in a position to win to try to beat this very physical very talented Texas team the match stats so far tonight they are even on kills uh, twice as many Nebraska hitting errors thus far. Texas taking the opening set. And the one point lead here in the second. And if you look at that, you're Nebraska, you gotta be really happy you're only down one. Yep. You're getting outplayed on lots of, part of parts of this game, especially in attack, in blocking. But they've gotta come out of this timeout with a tough serve. Texas only has two passers in the formation. They've got their Libero. Robinson has taken charge nine kills in this second set alone, and now she's back to serve. And the error, and Texas has a set point. Not the kind of serve Nebraska wanted. They had a two-person formation. She could have gone at Cat Brooks, who had had trouble earlier in this set. Paul Miller, Haggerty, blocked by Webster! 